Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. And today we have another LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens video for you. This one happens to be Level 6 Battle of Taco Donna. Nope, not Taco Dinner, Taco Donna. And that is going to be the free play. We are going to get that true Jedi requirement, which uh, we're also going to get a couple of vehicle tokens. And we're even going to round up some mini kits and a red brick for Destroy on Contact. So that'll be fun. I haven't ever used the Destroy on Contact red brick before. But speaking of red bricks, before we go anywhere from our Millennium Falcon Hub area, let's go ahead and queue up our character select wheel and choose the extras. And let's go ahead and purchase the studs times six red brick as well as the stud magnet. As you can tell, we have plenty of studage up top and uh, hey if you want to spend some more money and buy some other red bricks that you might find useful you are welcome to however we are going to save our quiche for later so uh yeah and if you need any money feel free to use the old battle of the jerk right there and you can farm up you know 500 to a million studs at a time otherwise uh, we're going to smash and grab a few studs and look at that we have so many studs coming in we almost made our money back right there so uh, when you're ready to roll, go ahead and choose the galaxy map and go down to Taco Donna and look for the Battle of Taco Donna. And we're going to choose free play, of course, and the first area of the area. And doesn't matter which character you choose, as you will have access to all of them. But we're going to start off in the beginning by using some dark force power. So we're going to switch to Vader and get our... Oh, and look at that. We have revealed a nice little sabering spot. So we're going to go ahead and melt it with our lightsaber. And inside, we find some stunnage and our first mini kit. So just like that, we are off and rolling. And we're going to head down the little uh, corridor here and find some bad guys jumping out. But uh, don't get too excited about them. We actually have another dark force area to the left here. You can see the glowing bits on the wall. And we're going to go ahead and open the door with our force powers here in a second. And once we get inside here, you might have guessed it, there's some more collectible engine here. Oh, we got a nice times two multiplier going too. So look at how much studs we're stacking up. We have over 5 million already. So easy peasy lemon squeezy getting that Jedi requeasy. You know what I mean? All right. We have smashed and built some bricks into the middle multi-build. And then we have pushed up with BB-8 on the rotary pad there, which actually reeled down that big old image or poster on the wall there and revealed a mini kit for us. So... We are moving right along, and now we're going to go ahead and melt the door with the lightsaber here. Ooh, I found a poiple. I didn't even know there was a poiple in here. But, uh, yeah, that attract studs is a great help, especially uh, when you're trying to collect them. So we are at a point where we probably have more money than we know what to do with. Uh, look at that. We've got 14 million now. We already had a few million on tap, so we got plenty. But uh, hey, before you advance too far in this new area outside the door, make sure you switch on over to Admiral Akbar and drive, dive into the bottom of this pool here. And you're going to find a bunch of bricks that we can build up into mini kit number three. So keeping things moving right along, we're going to switch back over to a character with a lightsaber. It does not have to be Darth, but he's going to rip open that wall and reveal a little hatch. So we're going to switch on over to the old round hound and roll him on through. And up top, we find a bunch of bricks that can be destroyed and rebuilt into a checker pad pathway. But we're going to go up further the stairs. You might have remembered in our story bits, we actually saw this little scan point up here. So take out the two bad guys, free the prisoners up there, and switch to a character with the scanning ability. And okay, those quad binoculars come in handy. As it turns out, that brick is not a brick at all. It's a silver brick. So we're going to go ahead and switch to our favorite silver brick breaker. And that's going to be ooh, Chewbacca. And now we go ahead and turf one of our silver brick breaker grenades up there. And Booyakasha, we have got mini kit number four in our rear view mirror. And we are moving right along, pushing this box down the checkerboard path that we just rebuilt with all those loose bricks. Now, go ahead and jump down below. We're going to go ahead and make a cake for these guys here. And uh, after a quick little humorous cutscene where the flame trooper lights the cake and they all get up close <laughs> and, uh, well, find out the hard way, it wasn't really a cake. It was just a distraction. Now we have to use the left-hand side of the multi-build to go ahead and build up a giant thermal imploder, which... He doesn't feel threatened by, except for it goes kablooey and drops that giant statue on Yui. Well, I guess it's not Yui. Hemi. <laughs> All right. So 
Next in line, we've got ourselves a blaster battle. And keep in mind, this gets a little bit tricky with the collectibles, as we have already kind of passed one particular important part. And uh, we're going to complete this blaster battle and then return and get them all in one big swooping motion. So you can see there's a cracked wall up on the left hand side. That is actually a mini kit hiding behind there. Just to the right of that, there is a statue, a little gold kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, Pharaohish like statue. And uh, we're going to go ahead and manipulate that along with three or two others. There's three total. And we're going to get a mini kit for that. So there is some things that are going to be going on. But we wanted to get this blaster battle out of the way. And it's also important to note uh, that not only do we have quick links down below if you're in a hurry to get there. But we also have uh, a point of no return coming up. So if you actually advance and take out some stormtroopers long after the blaster battle and we'll show you don't worry but if you do you're stuck and you'll have to replay this whole area over again and truth be told i had to play this area more than a couple of times once because i made a mistake once because the game made a mistake and uh and then once because the game actually crashed uh it was just a, it was a soft crash it wasn't anything serious but uh the game just kind of froze up and i couldn't go anywhere so anyhow we have uh, uh, used the grapple up on the right-hand side. We've taken out all of the remaining baddies down below, which has advanced us to the next section where we have to switch to somebody with the quadnoculars again and get see if we can find anything. Oh, suspect! We found that this rock down below is also silver. So, uh, uh, you know, Tarnax would make a killing right here. I don't know if you guys remember Tarnax, but it was that, that like uh, solution you'd put on silver or any kind of metals and, and rocks and things, and it would clean it right up just by dipping it in it. And I tell you what... These quadnoculars are coming in handy, but if not, some Tarnex probably would have done the job too, huh? <laughs> All right, maybe that's a terrible joke. Maybe only the old people will understand that one. But uh, anyhow, we have found that using Chewie's grenades right here actually can do quite a bit of damage. In fact, it speeds the whole process up of removing that health meter from this flame trooper now all right here is the point of no return it is important that you do not go any further i'm going to wait just a second until the annotation link pops up for the mini kit and all right here we go mini kit number five for those of you who just joined us with the quick link uh, we're going to switch to the well anybody with the dark force powers and lift up this tie fighter wing now it's important to note that the the stairway in front of us is kind of a no return zone. Really, it's not the area, it's the people involved. So as we switch to Admiral Akbar and dive into this big old dive pool that we found under the TIE Fighter wing, don't go any further to take out those shock troopers and whatnot up ahead. We're going to double back and we'll show you exactly how you should do this. First, we're going to switch to a character with the cracked wall breaking ability. Uh, and we've got, what is his name, Mol Molitor? Malter, I don't know how to say his name. We got a few guys that we got from the Battle of the Jerk. If you do not have a big character, then you have not been following along with our preparing for free play in our video series. But uh, assuming you have, we're going to make it all the way back to where we first carved out this door and made it into the open area. And we're going to switch to a character with the force powers. And I don't think it matters if it's good or bad, but just in case, you certainly should switch to Vader if you cannot or will not have any luck with like Luke or somebody else with the good force powers. Now, there are three of these statues, as I've already mentioned earlier in the video. The first one is in the original area we spawn in. Second one is actually just to the right of the cracked wall we just destroyed. And the third and final one is kind of in a danger zone. So remember I said it's not the area, it's not a point of no return, it's the people. All right, no, watch here. I do not take out these bad guys. Now, as a player, you could go to the left and take out those double grapple plugs and then come in and finish this up, you know, not in the same sequence as us. And either way, you're going to get both mini kits. But notice, I am not shooting at any of these stormtroopers because if I take out the first wave, the second wave appears. And if I take out the second wave, I get sucked into the final boss battle and I cannot grab this or anything else that we miss. So uh, just important, don't take out those stormtroopers. And meanwhile, go ahead and switch to two characters with the grappling ability and rip down those plugs, which, as you might have guessed it, once smashed down on the ground, gives us some bricks to build up into mini kit number eight. So we are making great ground here. As you can see, we have finally taken out that first group of stormtroopers, and now the next group comes in. 
And all right, so I had a weird issue where the game totally messed up on me, as I mentioned earlier, and it wouldn't go anywhere. It was actually right here in this next sequence against this boss. I actually took him out the three times that you're supposed to using the multi-build. And at the end of that, he is supposed to kind of suck you into this uh, spamming moment where you have to spam the button over the top of your head over and over to kind of finish the battle and take his final heart away. Now, in this particular case, for me, it did not work. It automatically switched me back to Finn, and then it did not suck me in and take me into that battle sequence. So uh, no matter what I did, I couldn't do it. I switched characters. It switched him to Finn, too. So I had no choice but to play as both characters as Finn, but yet it wouldn't let me advance. So uh, I switched to Finn on my own the second time around, and it did not seem to have a problem at all with it. So I don't know if that's helpful to you. I guess if you run into a situation where you are stuck and it will not let you uh, take the final hearts off, and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. But if you run into that, you might try switching to Finn on your second playthrough before you get to this area. And, and in that case, you might switch both characters to Finn, too. Otherwise, just go ahead and continue to smash and rebuild these multi-build bricks into the three different shapes. And, you know, he chases you around. I, I'm pretty sure you can avoid his attacks, but I, I found it just simpler to just get get busted up <laughs> it goes quicker he doesn't chase you around for five minutes each time and uh he knocks you down and oh well you lose a few hearts and a few studs what's that gonna really do for long term not a whole lot so all right third and final multi build he gets <laughs> he gets sucked up onto that magnetic shocker there and here we go this is the point for whatever reason the game on my first playthrough did not take me through here so uh, yes, now we're going to go ahead and spam these buttons and quickly it takes us right on into the next sequence. So of course, you know, we've removed all of the cutscenes, and we find ourselves flying the Millennium Falcon over this giant lake. And you probably remember there were a whole bunch of stud rings with buoys below them. There's actually four of them. So you can see I've got three of four. I've just flown around in a circle in the middle of the area and got the ninth mini kit. Ooh, that was pretty easy, huh? Now, it's important to note that you don't want to take out the TIE Fighters before taking out those buoys to make things a little easier for you. Now, once you take out these TIE Fighters, it does advance us. It is the rule of three. There are three sections of flying. So the first one is the 15 TIE Fighters. The second one is we have to take out these special ships that are coming in for a landing. And then the third one is we have to take out ships trying to take out our escape ships. So um, there's kind of a sequence. So the first sec section, I highly recommend not taking out the 15 ties and getting those four buoys. Just getting that mini kit out of the way. Now here we go. We've just completed that first section and we're moving to the second part. Now during this cutscene, there's some craziness that happens and it actually takes out this giant rock and watch what ha happens when it falls. Ready? Wait. Oh, look at that. It's a red brick. So before you take out any of these 10 ships, I highly suggest going in and getting that. Whoa, wait. Swing and a miss. All right. So, oh, okay. Uh, maybe third time's the charm. Hey, maybe it's the rule of three for me too. Yay. All right. Red brick destroy on contact is officially ours now. And we can go ahead and move on to the next phase by taking out the remaining ships here. So what the last phase is, the last mini kit, it's going to happen once the special forces TIE fighters come in. They are the TIE Fighters that have the Proton Torpedoes floating behind them. So as I take out all these ships and my aim is not so good. Uh, ooh, look at that. I even got piled right in the, in the Kissa. And uh, we're going to respawn. But basically, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is just follow the red markers and take out all of the ships that are marked. In this particular case, there are two waves of five. And I'm having a hard time with this first wave. As you can see, I'm <laughs> terrible at that ground aim. Maybe I shouldn't have chose the Millennium Falcon. Maybe, I mean, I love flying it. Don't get me wrong. But maybe it's not the easiest one to fly. Maybe an X-Wing or something would have been better. And I'm pretty sure I could tap the triangle button or Y button, depending on your platform, and it would switch us to another vehicle. But I, I don't know. I didn't do that. So, All right, second wave of five for the second wave of baddies here. And all right, we're having a little better luck here. We're trying not to get taken out again because that was embarrassing. But it uh, looks like we might get the majority of them before they land, which, as you know, my aim on the ground is not so good. So here we go. One last guy we got to take out, and then it will take us to a little quick little cinematic and show us that there are some new guys in town. Here we go. You can see where uh, our escape ships here are being tracked, and it took me a minute to figure out that those were actually our ships and not like bad ships with 
a whole convoy of protection behind him. But you can see there's green around the good guy and a bunch of red around the back. So at this point, we can go ahead and take out one or two of those ships. But I highly recommend avoiding that as it's easy to accidentally take out some of these TIE fighters. And if you take out all of them and, and accidentally save all of those ships, you're going to miss out on this last mini kit. Now, there's a possibility, I suppose, too, that you got this mini kit during the story playthrough because it's my understanding that uh, you could, uh, maybe not, maybe not. The notes do say only in story or in free play, so may maybe I'm wrong on that. But uh, all right, so here we go. We found our first proton torpedo floating around. And we got a tie right on our took us there, so we'll go ahead and do a flip. And once you have the proton torpedoes, you just have to simply target these three silver satellites. There are two on one side and one on the opposite side. So we got the onesie. Now we just got to head on the opposite side and go for the twosie. So I'm actually looking for another proton torpedo because I want to nail them both in one last little final approach here. And luckily for me, I end up, well, missing that. Oh, no, I do have two. All right, so I do launch them both away, and I do get taken out, but I grab that mini kit. I got the proton torpedo away just in time. And luckily for me, there was only like five or six ships left in order to get those three check marks, which, as you might have guessed, will take us in to the final totals because we've removed that final cutscene. So look at me, I'm taking a <laughs> wrong guy, wrong, same team, man, same team. All right, look for those red markers as indicated on the side of your map there. If you're not going the right way, the arrows will point you in the right direction. Take all of them out and booyah ka show. Check marks aplenty. And that's going to wrap it up for Battle of Takodano Free Play. And yes, we had plenty of studage to get that true Jedi requirement. In fact, look how many studs we have. We have over 50 million. I think we started this with like six, eight, no, eight million. It was like eight and a half million. We did pick up that red brick for the, what is it? The destroy on contact. That's right. That's the one that I've never used before. I'll have to activate that at some point. I try not to activate those during gameplay because not everybody has those or have spent the money to get those. So uh, I try to keep it simple and clean. Ooh, couple of vehicle tokens for Kylo Ren's escape ship. Is that what it said? I, I, I only read the, the beginning part of it. A little quick look at our totals there. And uh, that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens Level 6 Battle of Takodana Free Play. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and maybe a wee bit entertaining. We've been trying to pump these out now that we've got our computer issues or at least somewhat resolved. And if you guys have any questions or comments or maybe some computer suggestions for us, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. HappyThumbsGaming.com is also the home of our trophy achievement guides as well as our product and gaming reviews. So, holy cow, I was talking so long there I had to, had to parch my mouth there. I, I, I had to parch my mouth. Had to anyways all right i'm gonna end this now because i am <laughs> i have been shot and i am swirling down to my <laughs> anyways um yes bad bad star wars reference there to top off my fumbalaya of words anyhow uh that's it for me as always until next time they're all gonna laugh at you <laughs> so yeah.